number 187, Sarah Reinertsen, who has done more than her share of inspiring others for a long time now. She's 20 miles into the bike ride and in a good rhythm, a rhythm many thought she would never physically be able to find. When I was six years old, my parents signed me up to be in the town soccer league. All the kids in my neighborhood did soccer, so I wanted to try it too. I remember going to practices and uh, being part of the team, but when it came to some of the practices and the drills, the coach wouldn't include me. All the kids would play a scrimmage or do drills on the main field, and he would give me a soccer ball, and um, he'd make me go kick the ball against the side of the wall by myself. I was born with a tissue disorder known as proximal femoral focal deficiency, which basically in English means that I didn't have the tissues in my left limb to stimulate the right growth. So when I was born, my left leg was extremely shorter than my right leg. For the first part of my years, I grew up with a, a leg brace um, to kind of even the heights of my legs out so that I could kind of walk around. I kind of hobbled and would swing my leg out to the side. When I was seven years old, I had my left leg amputated above the knee. My parents always treated me like any other kid. And uh, when I fell, my mom didn't always rush up to me to pick me up. Sarah's gonna pick herself up. It was a really important lesson for me to learn then. 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike, 26.2 mile run. If I finish, I'll be the first woman on an artificial leg to, to do the Ironman. Um, no woman's done it, not an above the knee amputee, not a below the knee amputee. No woman's done the race um, or even attempted the challenge. Thank you guys. 34. One thing that I, I think I learned as a kid, and it's still true today, is that for me to keep up, I've always had to be tougher than the rest. And that's still the truth. There is an audience of millions watching this, and you really hope it includes one soccer coach from way back when. <laughs>